Does your game always feel laggy or sluggish online? If you're tired of high ping, random lag spikes, or slow downloads, even with a decent internet connection, then stick around. Because today, we're diving into TCP Optimizer and how to set it up properly for the best performance in 2024. Instead of blindly copying settings that may or may not work for you, I'll show you how to find the optimal custom settings based on your own PC and network setup. Let's jump right into it. Step 1. Downloading TCP Optimizer safely. Before we dive into any tweaks, the first thing you'll want to do is grab TCP Optimizer from the official source. There are fake versions floating around that could install malware or unwanted programs. I've included the one of the safe link in the description below, so head there and look for the Download TCP Optimizer button. It's usually right at the top of the page. Click Download TCP Optimizer. Not the installer version or anything extra. The one we want is the standalone executable, which doesn't require installation. It's a very small file, usually under one megabyte. So it should download almost instantly, even on a slower connection. Once it's downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder or wherever your browser saves files, locate the tcpoptimizer.exe and right-click it. Then click Run as Administrator. This is extremely important. If you don't run it with admin privileges, TCP Optimizer won't be able to make system-level changes, and most of the settings simply won't apply, or you'll get error messages when trying to optimize. When Windows prompts you with a user account control message, just click Yes to proceed. Now the tool is open and ready to go. Let's move on to the configuration. Step 2. Applying basic optimal settings. Once TCP Optimizer launches, you'll be greeted with a pretty technical looking interface. But don't worry, we're keeping it simple for now. Here's what to do. At the bottom of the window, look for the section labeled Choose Settings. You'll see three options, Current, Optimal, and Custom. Go ahead and select Optimal. This option applies the most balanced and performance-focused settings based on general best practices. It's safe for most systems and will improve things like latency, packet handling, and network responsiveness without diving deep into technical customization yet. Once you've selected Optimal, move your attention to the lower right corner and click Apply Changes. A new window will pop up summarizing all the settings that will be changed. This is just a confirmation step. Go ahead and click OK to confirm and begin applying the tweaks. The app will take a few seconds to write those values into the system registry and network settings. Once it's done, you'll see a prompt asking if you want to reboot your PC now. This is important. The changes won't fully take effect until after a restart. Click Yes and let your system reboot. Once you're back, your PC will be using the newly optimized network configuration and you may already start to feel snappier connection performance in games, browsing, and downloads. Step 3. Customizing for your system Now that you've applied the basic optimal settings and rebooted your PC, it's time to dial in a more personalized configuration for your setup. This will help you squeeze out the most performance based on your actual internet speed, hardware, and network adapter. Reopen TCP Optimizer. At the very top of the window, you'll see a slider labeled connection speed. By default, it may be set to a lower value, but for optimal results, drag that slider all the way to the right to the maximum speed available. Why? This tells TCP Optimizer to base its advanced tuning on your maximum bandwidth potential, even if you aren't hitting those speeds 24-7. It scales buffer sizes, latency parameters, and congestion control more appropriately. Next, move down to the Network Adapter Selection dropdown. This shows all the network interfaces on your PC, wired and wireless. Choose the adapter you're currently using to access the internet. For most people on Ethernet, it might say something like Intel Ethernet Controller or Realtek PCIe. Wi-Fi users might see their wireless adapter listed. Just below that, you'll see a checkbox that says Modify All Network Adapters. Make sure to check this box. This ensures that even if you switch networks later, like going from Ethernet to Wi-Fi, all interfaces will benefit from the new settings. Step 4. Finding your optimal MTU Now that we've got the basics and your adapter set up, it's time to dial in something a lot of people skip, MTU, or Maximum Transmission Unit. What's MTU? It's the largest size a single data packet can be when sent over your network. If it's too high, packets get fragmented, too low, and you waste bandwidth sending more packets than needed. Either way, it can cause lag spikes, slower downloads, or dropped connections. 
Let's find your ideal MTU. Click on the MTU slash latency tab at the top of TCP Optimizer. In the new window, click the largest MTU button. TCP Optimizer will now automatically run a series of ping tests to different MTU sizes. It finds the largest size that can be sent without fragmentation. This is your optimal value. For example, when I ran it, I got 1492. That means 1500 was too big and would result in dropped or fragmented packets, while 1492 is clean and fast for my setup. Once the test is done, go back to the General Settings tab. Enter the number TCP Optimizer gave you into the MTU field manually. This step might seem small, but a correct MTU can really stabilize online games, voice chat, and downloads, especially over Wi-Fi or with VPNs. Step 5. Tweak Network Performance for Gaming and Streaming Now it's time for the fun part. Applying real performance tweaks that can make a noticeable difference in how smooth your online experience feels, especially in competitive games, live streams, or voice chat apps like Discord. General settings first. With TCP Optimizer open, head back to the General Settings tab. RSC, Receive Segment Coalescing. Set this to Disabled. This feature can cause unnecessary delays in how your PC processes multiple packets. Disabling it improves responsiveness, especially during high-load or multiplayer scenarios. Leave all other values unchanged here for now, since we've already applied the optimal baseline settings earlier in the guide. Now go to Advanced Settings, Gaming Tweaks. Scroll down until you find the Gaming Tweaks section. These are focused on reducing latency, improving packet delivery, and speeding up how Windows handles real-time network data. Here's what to set. Step 6. Improve performance with network memory allocation. While still in the Advanced Settings tab of TCP Optimizer, scroll down until you reach the Network Memory section. This area controls how much of your system's memory is allocated to handling network traffic. And on modern machines, tuning this properly can improve overall stability and responsiveness, especially when multitasking or gaming online. Here's what to set. Large System Cache Enabled. This tells Windows to prioritize caching data in system memory for improved network and disk throughput, useful for both gaming and general browsing. Memory Size – Optimized This allows TCP Optimizer to scale memory allocation dynamically based on your system's available RAM. If you've got 8GB or more, which most systems do in 2024, this setting ensures networking processes don't get bottlenecked. Step 7 – Finalize and Reboot to lock in the changes Now that you've dialed in your settings, both general and advanced, it's time to apply everything and make it official. At the bottom of TCP Optimizer, click Apply Changes. A confirmation window will pop up showing a detailed list of all the tweaks that are about to be applied. Double check that everything looks correct. If you're happy with it, go ahead and hit OK. Almost immediately, TCP Optimizer will prompt you to restart your PC. This is important because many of the changes, especially registry-based network tweaks, won't take effect until after a full reboot. Once you reboot, your system will now be running with a custom-tuned network configuration built specifically for your hardware and connection type. And that's it! You've now got your system running with personalized TCP settings that aim to bring the best out of your network performance in 2025. If this guide helped you, smash that like button, drop a comment if you have questions, and subscribe for more no-fluff optimization tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!